Okay, hello everyone. Uh, in the previous session, we had seen something called as versioning problem, uh, where the version 2.0.0.0 get conflicts with the version 1.0.0.0, and that's the problem of versioning in the .NET. In this session, we'll see something called as side by side execution, which is something like if let's say we have in uh, .exe or .dll with version 1.0.0.0. And also in the uh, we have uh, 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 the assembly having version 2.0.0.0, and how exactly uh, we save both these assembly in the GAC folder. A GAC is Global Assembly Cache where all the assemblies resides. Okay, so uh, I have this Visual Studio and I create new project uh, in the same way that we had seen in the previous uh, video. Okay, so I have console application name as console application. Let it be default, and uh, this application uh, I need to add my DLL file. So I go to my solution, right click, add and add new project. Okay, so I select class one and hit OK. So my class library and console application is ready. I just need to add the code. So if I uh, include the method that is public string method and then I just use something called as return and uh, this is from TLL the code will be the same okay and then I make this assembly as my strong assembly so I because as, as you can see why I need this as in strong name assembly is because we need to uh, you know we need to save or we need to install this DLL into my GAC folder that is global assembly cache so uh, only strong name assembly is going to be installed in uh, GSE folder so I need to convert this weak name assembly into strong name assembly so that's why I'm adding so as you know that if you want to uh, make an assembly into the strong name assembly then you need a key pair that is public private key uh, we already uh, generate this pair of key in my C folder and there we, there we go with the key my key dot SNK that is strong name key so I just uh, I just add this uh, the path of this key so I hit enter and assembly okay sorry uh, so I just write assembly and then assembly uh, key file name and then I just uh, give the path name so my key uh, dot snk okay so now this is going to be uh, this this class library one is going to be my strong name assembly because I had add this key pair okay so now I will add this DLL into my exe application so references and just add a reference to my class library one and then we will add some code to our main method first of all we have to import this uh, DLL so I use using and I call the class library one and then I go to void main method and I will create class one library so I'll add my class uh, sorry the object of this class so new class one class one and then I'll just uh, call that method console dot right line all right and then obj dot that method of my dll okay and then i just use my console dot read key to hold my screen okay so this is completely ready now what exactly i need to do i need to uh, install this class library one into my gac folder so i need to use visual studio command prompt so I go to Visual Studio Command Prompt, right click and run as administrator. Why do we need this run as administrator is because we need to install this library into something called as C Windows and Windows is an admin folder. So we need administrator privileges. So I use GSC Util which is a tool by which you can install any assembly into the GAC folder. GSCutil.exe dash i for installation and I just need a path so basically uh, I first need to uh, copy this exe and libraries to some other location so I go to console application and bin and then debug and oh it is not yet built in 
compiled so I control shift B and I run it this is okay so again I go to the folder that is console application and I go to bin debug okay so I have now class library 1 and exe ready so I copy it and paste it into my sample folder okay it's working okay so I need to install this uh, this thing into the gag folder so what exactly I'm gonna do I just copy this path I go to my command prompt and I just paste it and then I I call this class level okay so you can see assembly successfully added to the cache so we go to the, the folder so go to your C drive get to Windows find Microsoft.net assembly and GSEMSI and you can see your library class library 1 and then class library 1 and you can see it is having version 4.0 it's because we are using Visual Studio 2010 it is having a framework of 4.0 and then this 1.0.0.0 this is basically the DLL version so you can see this DLL version 1.0.0.0 okay so now this is on this version and now we have a requirement to install one another DLL that is having sorry the same DLL with having a version of 2.0.0.0 so let's do this so I go to my console application and first of all I remove this library from my references so I remove it and then I change assembly info.cs file and I change this version that is assembly version to 2.0.0.0 control shift build and there is a problem because I haven't add any this error you can see this error it says type or namespace class library cannot be found are you missing using directive assembly references because you can see I have imported this library one so I need to comment it but that's that's okay so I just mm, I just ref I just add a reference here to my class library and uh, hit OK. Now class library is one has been you know added to my reference folder and now I do control shift P so build to succeed it. Now if I go to the uh, solution open folders in Windows Explorer console application then debug and I have one more DLL having version 2.0.0.0 so I copy these things and I paste it in my sample folder replace it okay now again I need to install this this thing into the gag folder uh, but let's first see is this the same, is it having the same version or not so it is having version 2.0.0 you can see and if I go again in the manifest folder you can see this is on the version 2.0.0 so that's okay completely so I need Visual Studio command prompt to install this assembly into the gag folder okay so I use gsc util again dot exe dash i for installation and then okay so I need to copy the path copy it paste it call the library add assembly successfully add to the cache to verify this we go to our folder that is C drive windows microsoft.net and then assembly GAC, sorry GAC MSI class library 1 and you can see there is version 1.0.0.0 and then we have version 2.0.0.0 so this thing is known as side by side execution one version is uh, you know, it's 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 deciding the other version, or you can say they are they are working simultaneously or or side by side, because you see the DLL is the same, and and you can you can actually check this out here. If I make this, let me give a view on a list. Yeah, now this is okay. You can see version is completely same, only the DLL versions are different. So DLL versions are different. You can see 1.0.0.0 and 2.0.0.0. You can also see that the public token 
they are completely same so they are equally they are equally equal but only the difference is their version so this is known as side by side execution okay i hope you understand it very well so thank you so much for listening